And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was trained and then watch the hair come back up again. They'd look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about... <laughs> giving me to check out best auntie ever. Y'all are about to listen. I'm about to show y'all something, man. I'm about to show y'all something. And this right here is... <laughs> y'all know who Mark Dice is? Mark Dice is the very first comment on this video. And his comment says, and I quote, this is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Ha, ha, ha. That's what Mark Dice says. I, and I know a lot of y'all know who Mark Dice is. I've checked out a few of his videos on the channel. Man, best auntie, what in the world you got me about to check out here? You know what? I'm going to do it for you because you've been blessing people all night. Somebody show up and they say, hey, y'all, what's going on? First time here. And she be like, you know what? You take a sub. I'm going to bless you with a sub. Yeah, I'm going to bless you with a sub. I'm blessing you with a sub. You know what I mean? Like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, you get sub. All right. So watch this right here, man. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Let's see, let's see what this is about. And this comes from whose channel? Sven Stoffels. So y'all make sure y'all go ahead and sub Sven, um, Sven Stoffels' channel, man, because uh, we're about to have fun with this one. And by the way, you know, I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg. What the world, man? Ain't no way in the world. He just, he said the kids used to come up to me and rub my legs in the pool. He's, uh, <clears throat> and then whoever drew it, whoever drew this, first of all, good job, excellent job. Whoever did the commentary with the stuttering and the, the voice, oh my God. But why did he even, why did he ever even tell such a daggone ridiculous story? Now that people can daggone draw their own conclusion. Man, all right, all right, okay, okay. Let's, let's see what the rest of this is. This dude, come on, bro. Bond in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down. So it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. Hold up, so this is not an impersonation. This isn't nobody doing his voice. This is actually him. <laughs> this is actually him, man. I, and, and then he started talking about corn pop. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. This is, you know what this is? I don't know if y'all know this yet. Hold on, I gotta, I, I need y'all to understand what I'm about to say. You know what this is? This right here is is this is joe biden's i have a dream speech Get, this is definitely his i have a dream speech because he has said so much ridiculous ridiculousness before and when i when i talk to other people who have voted for him and i say other people because i'm one of the people that voted for joe i voted for joe i'm not gonna lie about that I voted for joe i voted for joe do i feel bad about it I usually don't have regrets, but I don't know. <laughs> but it's unfortunate that he actually said this. And he did not think that he was being disrespectful. He didn't think that this will make people think about, think about like, okay, you were a grown man at a, a swim pool around kids and used to let them rub on your legs or or i'm sorry i'm uh, let me put this back the other way you was a growing teenager and used to like when kids used to rub on your legs because i think he said that he was like a, a buff um um what you call it um a yoked uh, um um lifeguard at the back um at the pool and that's when he used to be beefing with corn pop or something like that uh, um, blonde in the sun and the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair 
<laughs> come, come back up again. Really? Yeah, they look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. He did say that he loved kids jumping on his lap. And why do he have pink eye? <laughs> why does he have pink eye, bro? Seriously. You know there's only one way you can get pink eye. That's well, no, it's not only one way. But they, they, someone told me that they had pink eye, and I told them why I thought they had pink eye. And they told me that, well, it was my wife's birthday, so... And you know what? When they say that, you got to fall back. Look, okay, I understand why you got pink eye. It was her birthday. You had to do something special. I get it. This right here is disgusting, man. And I'm mad that he ever even told this daggone story. Y'all need to go play this to your kids. Play this to your kids. My gracious, why is this video not being showed everywhere? Everyone should see this video. Matter of fact, share this on your daggone platforms. Not so I can blow up. You know, I would love to blow up. <laughs> I would love to blow up. You know what I mean? Hit like two million by the mind. No, I wouldn't. That's that's not that's honestly not the truth because I appreciate this journey more than anything. But people need to see this. I doubt people who enjoy Joe Biden, who has voted for Joe Biden, or constantly hear how idiotic he is. I think they just they keep blind us up for that like they don't want to see that like don't show me anything that's going to make me doubt my decision for voting for him because this right here is just weird and it's 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 pretty um pedo-ish okay that's all i'm gonna say it's pretty pedo-ish if you think it's not then feel free to let me know why you think it's not i think it's pretty daggone pedo-ish let me see if there's anything else that's just come on man this corn pop story bro the corn pop story? Come on, man. You got to stop with the corn pop story. <laughs> you probably should. You should not have said that. I remember him talking about this. I remember when he was talking, he was calling little kids. He had the kids all around him while he was standing up at a podium giving a real fake speech. That was his I Have a Dream speech. His corn pop speech was his I Have a Dream speech that will go down in history forever. People are going to be telling these stories, you know, while sitting around the fire, telling scary stories. <gasps> and then there was this old man. Ooh. But I didn't know that apology was going to work. He said, you apologize to me? I said, I apologize for that. Not for throwing you out, but I apologize for what I said. He said, okay, close the straight razor and my heart began to beat again. He the only man that could tell a daggone story about um, and try to make himself seem tough for apologizing. I said, I apologize. I apologize. I don't apologize for everything, but I apologize for most things. Yeah. I apologize. Now, could you please put your knife away? <laughs> I apologize. I said I apologize. <laughs> and by the way, you know, I sit on the stand. And it get hot. I got a lot of. I got hairy legs that turn that 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 that, that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down, so it was straight. And then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about. <laughs> yeah, baby, listen. Y'all, it's y'all duty to share this video. It's your duty. Tomorrow, this video will be up on the internet. The cartoon in this part two, y'all gotta share this. Kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. 